Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nick from That Student Life. Uh, today we're here at Newcastle University and we're going to talk about why you should or might consider undertaking a Bachelor of Mathematics. Let's go. Anyway, so we'll dive into this with the very first pro of studying mathematics. So maybe you uh, have some interest in mathematics or you have an interest and you have absolutely no idea what a mathematics degree would be good for. And that's the response that I find a lot of people have. So, you know, what are you going to do with a mathematics degree? Um, now me, I'm doing a combined degree of science and mathematics. I major in chemistry for my science and I major in statistics for my math degree. Um, and the most common response is, what the hell are you going to do with a math degree? Um, but even though people are very skeptical about what you can do with a mathematics degree, um, it's important to know that, and this is probably the number one pro of a mathematics degree, is that it is so versatile in terms of what you can do for your job. So your degree is kind of like, you know, if you do a degree in radiography, you will be a radiographer when you graduate. If you do a degree in nursing, you will be a nurse when you graduate. Um, lots of job specific degrees um, where it's like that's what you're going to become whereas you know it's a little you know less well known I guess in a mathematics degree what you will be when you graduate but that's actually a big pro so you could go into the finance sector you could go into IT you could be a programmer you could continue to do academic mathematics there is a long list of things um, that you can do with a mathematics degree and you know, a mathematics degree, as, as well as giving you some practical skills like, you know, computer coding and, and problem solving skills and, and actual mathematical problem solving skills, um, lots of people or employers out there are looking for guys like me, for people like you who are going to or maybe going to study a math degree. Um, they look for those analytical pro problem solving skills. So even if you're in a job that actually has nothing to do with mathematics, you are still, you know, a very valid candidate for them uh, if you have this degree. Do a bit of a rotation in the sun, moved into like literally the worst spot uh, in the room. So another great thing about studying, you know, a mathematics degree um, is that because you can do so much with a degree, and the same goes for a science degree as well. Um, if you just choose mathematics, if you just choose science, you know, like we mentioned before, there are lots of job specific degrees like nursing, radio, etc. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of up to you to choose what courses you do. So you've got a lot more choice in, in terms of what you study, but even after that fact, so you say, you, like me, I decide I'm gonna major in statistics, these are the statistics courses that you have to do, and, you know, go, go for it. Um, you still have all these elective units left over that you can choose to do. So you can kind of tailor your university degree to the job that you want after. So, um, for example, like I, you know, as an aside, I thought I wanted to go into research with, with science and chemistry, I no longer want to do that, I want to go into the financial sector. Um, so what do I do? I use all my elective units to choose finance courses. Um, so when you choose a, a, a slightly less specific degree um, where you get to choose a major and then choose some electives and stuff like that, you can really tailor your university experience to what you actually want to do when you graduate. And when an employer looks at a transcript, that surely has to be a big plus um, to see that you're actively choosing to do courses um, in that field. So another reason to do a mathematics degree or if you're kind of on the fence um, about it is, is actually something that not a lot of people expect. Um, it's a strong communication skills that you get as a result of the mathematics degree um, and it is something that employers look for. So as I especially in your 12 thought mathematics, you know, a bunch of weird guys, um, unsociable, sitting in a room, crunching numbers, didn't really want to talk to anyone. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure there are still people inside of you know, any degree who are, you know, a little bit odd, um, maybe not the most social people in the world. But the very nature of the math degree, so problem solving, um, you know, these really hard group work projects, you have to be able to communicate well with one another in order to succeed. Um, now I know a lot of people aren't a fan of group work. Group work, um, you know, no one is really a fan of group work as such. But in math, it's a little bit different. It's, you know, it's learning to sort of convey your ideas, and you know, I'll help you, you help me, and, and it's a very well-rounded atmosphere. So, the, the communication skills you get out of a mathematics degree are you know, phenomenal, um, and that's something that an employer will really value. 
Uh, but yeah, those are, are sort of, you know, three big tips, I think, um, if you're kind of on the fence about doing a mathematics degree, um, hopefully this video can explain to you a little bit more about, you know, what a mathematics degree is about. Um, but yeah, number one, it's a super employable degree. It's really versatile in terms of uh, what you want to do. Number two, with that versatility, you get to basically choose exactly what you want to do. So you choose elective courses, choose major, choose an area that particularly interests you. You don't have to do just a set, you know, big regimented program where you have to do X, Y, and Z, and you really don't get much say. And number three is those strong communication skills um, that you'll get. If you are curious about uh, what the structure of a mathematics degree is, um, just as a quick rundown, or maybe I'd better do another video on it sometime soon, but as a quick rundown, as a first year, um, there's basically some set courses that you have to do in semester one and in semester two. Um, and you know the, the program itself has some some set required courses that you have to do. So for for me in my first year, we do um, math twelve ten, math twelve twenty, which is basically a slightly harder version um, of the courses that all the engineers sit. Um, it's specific for the mathematics program, um, and that basically covers you know first year calculus and first year linear algebra. Um, and you know you learn to do proofs and you know more rig mathematically rigorous things in that course. Um, if you don't want to do those courses straight up, you can do the easier engineering courses and then do a bridging course um, in your second year, which just basically bridges the gap and tells you, teaches you how to do proofs and and things like that. Uh, you've got to do a set first year um, applied mathematics uh, course. Um, I think it's called mathematical modelling in at Newcastle. Um, and you have to do a basic statistics um, course as well. And then after progressing past that, you can start to tailor your degree a little bit more to the courses that you want to do. So you can choose statistics, you can choose applied maths, you can choose pure maths, and then go off in all kinds of directions. But each course essentially has a lecture associated with it, two to three hours, one per week or two per week, um, depending on what course you're doing and a tutorial time associated with it that we usually go for about two hours, which is basically a bunch of guys solving really hard questions with lots of whiteboards. Um, it's a great atmosphere for problem solving. So that's essentially how the mathematics degree works. But that wraps up for this video. I've already talked for far too long. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to know anything more particular, just leave a comment in the comment section down below and um, I'll catch you in the next video. Uh, apologies for my lack of regularity in, um, in these videos. But um, essentially, you're hoping to make a lot more videos or more consistent videos as time goes on. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Nick from That Student Life. Have a good day. See you later.